What is up, my tater tots? Mosh potatoes here, and I got some gameplay for you on the map Standoff, and pretty good gameplay. I went 30 and three, I believe. I have a couple more gameplays that are like pretty good, so you're definitely gonna see a lot more. I was using the shotgun this game, or probably most of the game. I don't really remember. It was last night, but I played for a while last night, so. I don't remember exactly what I used, but we got a few other good gameplays. I think I have like a 33 and 1. We're losing this fight. Some other weapons coming soon, and had another gameplay, but you know, theater mode. Theater mode. Trey arced me and deleted my 33 and 0 shotgun gameplay, which just hurt the soul because that was such a beautiful gameplay, and I was really disappointed that I'm not being able to show it. So, lesson learned for me, but oh well. Anyways, this game is like pretty good. I'm really liking it so far. And this shotgun is amazing. Like this is probably the best shotgun class. And this is the only shotgun I've used. And basically it's the Remington 870, obviously. You need to have the long barrel and laser sight. And then it just becomes amazing. And I have I think I'm running lightweight, hardline, toughness, and extreme conditioning. And yeah, like, this thing is incredible. Like, I've never had so much fun using a shotgun. The pump action animation is really fast, so if you miss a shot, you can still try to get him with a second shot. Like, in Modern Warfare 2, or not Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, like, for the KSG and the model, if you miss that first shot, the animation was like so slow that you couldn't even get the second shot off and you'd probably die. It, with this shotgun, you can get at least three shots off before you die. But hopefully you hit like one of those three shots and you kill them, so that's should be what happens. But anyways, I'm running really low kill streaks because that's what I do for the first like to first prestige, like the first 55 levels, or however many levels it is in that Call of Duty. This one is 55, so I usually just run really low kill streaks, or I guess score streaks, whatever you call them. And I just try to rank up really fast because they're really easy to get. And yeah. So basically, my thoughts on the game. Well, I really like the game. Like, I really don't have any complaints so far. Like, I've, I haven't seen anything where I'm like, wow, this is, this is bad. Like, I really haven't. And I know it's really early to tell. Well, it was just, like, went weird right there. I know it's, you know, too early to tell because the game's been out for a day. So, I mean, it's like this from Modern Warfare 3. I didn't realize how bad the spawns sucked for, like, a month. And I don't know how I was so blind to it, but... Like, the spawns in this game are good. Like, I have not seen a bad spawn yet, which is awesome. That is the thing I hated the most about Modern Warfare 3, were the spawns. This game has good spawns. We're good. Like, I'm happy. Like, the gameplay, the feel of it, it feels good. Like, I just... I don't have any complaints so far. The guns are all good. Like, there's really not even a weak gun. I mean, there's some guns that outclass others, but... I mean, like what David Vonderhaar said, there's a counter to everything. You know, I I thought the MSMC submachine gun was really good because I've seen people use it. Do really well with it. When I unlocked it, I used it. And I can't get a good gameplay with it. But yet, I use the PDW-57 or MP7. And I can get good gameplays with those. When those aren't even supposed to be the best SMGs. Same with the assault rifles. Again, like I was saying, the Type 25 is good, which it is, but, like, well, I really haven't used the assault rifles that much, because SMGs and shotguns are a lot more fun, but, like, the TAR seems to be better than the Type 25, so, I don't know. It's all good, though. It seems balanced so far. No game-breaking things yet that I've noticed. And hopefully it stays this way, and 
I'm gonna be pretty happy with it if nothing crazy comes out. Although my friend's server is Cerberus. I don't know why I call him Cerberus, but whatever. He has this combination that is pretty deadly. And yeah, it's a se it's his secret, and he gets really high KD games with it, like 30 and 0, 29 and 0, 22, or 22 and 1. He got one death each of these games, which is very unfortunate, but it's kind of funny. Like he's getting these high KD games, he just has that one death. But anyways, like his combo, I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't know if he wants people to know what it is, but. It's, it's getting them those high KD games, and it's ridiculous. And, yeah. So, he's probably going to post those videos on his channel. Like, not soon, but he's working on it. So, if you guys want to sub to his channel, the link in the description, and you can watch those videos and maybe find out his secret. I don't know. And, that's probably it. So, that's going to end this video. These are just my thoughts so far. I could probably go more in-depth later on when I know more about the game and I've played more. But so far, so good. I'm going to try to live stream soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.